Okay, now we're moving into the multiple choice section of the test. Now this is the majority of the questions are gonna be multiple choice. So as you might expect, you've got five choices, you gotta pick the one that is correct. Let's look at this first question. When the equation for the reaction represented above is balanced, and all coefficients are reduced to lowest whole number terms. The coefficient for HCl is... Okay, so it's a balancing question. We have to balance this equation and then give them the coefficient for HCl. So a few points about balancing. Um, obviously, it gets harder as you have more components in the equation. So here we've got four total, two products, two reactants. Um, so if you have five or even six, it gets much more complex. Uh, the main piece of advice that I can give you is anything that's alone. So for instance, H2 is here by itself, B is here by itself. Leave those to the end because it's very easy to add any arbitrary number you need next to the H2 or the B to balance the side as appropriate. So only really try to balance things first that are kind of tied up into multiple compounds. So here we can see CL is in these two. So we're gonna try to balance that first. Uh, all right, so I've got three CLs, I've got one CL. So let's see, I could add a three in front of the HCl and that would balance my CLs, but then notice I'm gonna have three H's and that's kind of gonna be weird to balance with the H2 here. I mean, we could add a 1.5 here and that's a way to do it. But I think it just is easier right off the top just to put a six here. And then I've got six CLs, which means I'm gonna put a two here. So now I've got six CLs on the left, six CLs on the right. Let me now balance the H's. Well, I've got six H's here, so I've got two here. So if I add a three, I'm balanced there. And then I have to look at my B's. I've got two borons, so I gotta put a two here and we're all set. Notice this is the lowest whole number ratio. We can't reduce this or anything, right? They're not all even numbers, so we can't lower them down or anything. So we're done here and now we just give them the answer. What's the coefficient for HCl? Well, it's E, six. And that's how you balance.